Hello everyone, this is Mark at New Horizons London's uh, presenting tips and tricks for the Windows 7 series. But today we're going to be looking at encryption file system, your EFS. It's a native locking solution for your files and folders inside your operating system. What we do with EFS is use a security ID that is unique to you when you log on, so that only that security ID, when you log on with your password, is, can be used to unlock automatically your encrypted files and folders. Let me prove to you how this works. If I go to the desktop, create a new folder, EFS, open it up, make a new text document, it's called secret, doesn't really matter, just a demo, might have my bank details, passwords, etc. <clears throat> These documents are sensitive, I'm, I want to lock it, make sure no one else accesses it point I want to prove to you that now though that we use a digital certificate to store the encryption algorithm which lets us unlock and lock the data which is based on our username I'm going to prove that to you now with the certificate manager it's a Microsoft console MSC so I'm opening up certificate manager as the logged on user which is a user I've created called James <clears throat> go to my personal store and you can see that no personal certificates exist for James what I'm going to do is prove to you that uh, that changes as soon as I encrypt this uh, folder. If I go to advanced attributes, and that is what EFS is, it's an attribute, an advanced attribute. Uh, you can see that I can encrypt. When I apply that, it will encrypt using the security ID with a digital certificate, which it creates, puts here. Uh, bear in mind, though, you can't compress and encrypt. It uses different algorithms for each, which are mutually exclusive, and uh, they conflict with each other. Anyway, not going to go into that now. I say OK to encrypt the data. When I say OK, it will ask whether I want to do this for the folder or for the folder and everything that goes in there. I'm going to choose everything that goes in there subsequently. And what you should see, if I refresh the personal store, a certificates folder pops up with the James certificate. OK, now that certificate is created to lock this data and only when James logs in will he be able to access that data exclusively. So, uh, just a uh, little finishing touch to this. I want to give you an idea about why uh, this is so useful. I could, for example, if I was James, want someone else to read this data that I encrypted uh, as my user account. And what I'd do with that, because we use public key infrastructure, which is uh, in a PKI architecture, using key pairs. There are two keys with public keys, uh, public key architecture. One's private, one's public. I use my private key essentially, it's not exactly, but essentially to lock the data and I can, I'm can. i the only one who can modify that if I've got the public key. Sorry, private key. <laughs> if I have the public key, then I can read the data that was locked with the private key. So no one can take the data that was locked with a private key and modify it even if they have the public key. That is exclusively the right of the owner of the private key. Anyway, just to uh, so prove this if you want to keep your keys safe, if I don't want to export the pri private key, then I will end up with a CER certificate file. If I do want to export my private key, and remember, this is as good as your physical signature. Never let this go to anyone. Okay, if I do want to export my private key, well, the next screen doesn't give me CER, that's greyed out. I get a PFX file instead. So I don't want to back up my private key, uh, I would only do that if I'm moving computers and need to export the keys for uh, use of it on a different operating system. Uh, exporting my private key, sorry, public key, and where don't you store it? Don't store it in a location that's locked with BitLocker, like in the EFS folder. You ever locked your keys in a safe? <laughs> yeah, okay, so I'm just going to drop it on the C drive in a folder I've called Demo. successful export and if I go to Explorer C drive demo if I double click that file it would by default open and install and guys that's as simple as that if I send it to someone they can install that certificate and they can read data that James has encrypted okay I uh, hope that was useful for you and uh, come back for more tips and tricks soon New Horizons London bye now